Okay, yeah, this is Andy doing his Madonna bit. So I've just put on this silly little window here to just quickly show you how to set up your VR tracker device. So it's this thing here basically. Um, so I've turned it on and there's a light on it which you can see once you've turned it on. But you can also see down here that uh, as long as you've got these two controllers on it will recognize it. Uh, it's also recognized I've got a game controller plugged in. Uh, but I will quickly show you, you need to also plug in. So you need to also plug in, um, can you see? I can't see what I'm looking at there. Oh yeah, okay. So this USB device here, uh, I don't know why it's got such a greasy, front on the camera but hey ho um, so yeah it's basically that USB it needs to be plugged in and then consequently uh, you will then uh, as well as turning the tracker on you will then get a uh, it will then come up as recognizing it one of my controllers has run out of batteries because it hasn't been used in 72 years okay so I'm just going to show you how to set up a project in unity where it will recognize the tracker I hope okay just to quickly note as well that uh, you've now got if you put in steam VR on the asset store uh, you now end up with 65 million weird packages that have got nothing to do with the actual free Vive plugin. So you, the first thing you need to do in your scene is you need to, if you can find it, I can't even find it anymore. Uh, so let's just go back. Um, is this Steam VR plugin? Okay, so this is what you need to download. So you just import this. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do. Also, while it's while you import it, it's just told me that some of the assets are out of date, are obsolete, so uh, nice to see that Valve is keeping everything up to date. Uh, so just import and I'll see how it works anyway. Obviously they're too busy making Half-Life 3. So uh, accept all, that sounds good to me. And let's move on. Thank you. Okay, so as usual with this type of thing, you want to set up, uh, so we've got a scenes directory, so let's just uh, create a new scene. Okay, so create a new scene, then we'll save that scene in the scenes folder as Andy Tracker Test. Okay, so we see Andy Tracker Test, make sure that's loaded, it is, and then next thing we want to do is go into the Steam VR folder, so unroll that in prefabs, we have got the, I think it's the camera rig, I believe, okay, yeah, that's fine, uh, let's just reset that to uh, zero, so if you just go to this little cog here, you can reset the position to zero, um, so next up we want to make a uh, so this is the controller manager this is where we're going to add the tracker um, and you've also got a drop down here which means you can add more trackers in here but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a game object so I'm going to create an empty uh, should I create an empty one? I'm just going to create a 3D cube Okay, so let's just uh, make that point zero five. I want to make it about the same size as a tracker, um, which I think is point zero five. If I was uh, okay, so that looks about right. Camera's obviously getting in the way. Um, okay, so under that. Uh, Actually, what I want to do is I want to parent that to a game object to create empty. Let's call it tracker. And then let's drop the cube under there. So the cube is now parented under the tracker or is a child of the tracker. So we also want to add a tracker bit. Bits are just falling off my camera as I talk. That's probably why it's so covered in glue. 
<coughs> excuse me. So, what we'll do is uh, we'll add a component. We want to uh, tract object. Is it tract object or tract controller? Let me just double check. Okay, so first things last. So, obviously, this would never stay in front of that, that would be too easy, so I'm just going to have to keep both of these open separately. There's probably a much better piece of software than this that would do that. I am currently using this medley thing, webcam viewer, so uh, there may be, uh, there obviously is a piece of software that will just drop it in front of Unity. But to cut a long story short, so we're back to the tracker, uh, I'm just going to pair it in that again. Um, I'll reset the position, so we're back at zero. With, I should be correcting the tracker, not the, um, the parent object, not the child object. So uh, it's it's defaulted back to its original size. Just adjust that back. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so that should be right. That's about the right size. So now we're going to track our add component, uh, tracked object, okay, HMD is fine, uh, apparently this, uh, this adjusts itself at runtime anyway, so it doesn't matter what you choose. Um, so next up we need to go to camera rig and we need to, so I've, I've, gone, I've put, gone into the Steam VR controllers, we've got the left and right controllers. Uh, so I've added one more object to make it size one. Let's just drag the tracker in there. Um, so if all goes according to plan, oh yeah, the I was having issues with this before, and the point is you always need to delete your main camera out of the scene, otherwise it will default to the main camera, which causes many many issues and has probably wasted at least three weeks out of my life. So let's give this a go. Okay, so that wasn't working. So what I've done is I have um, just rebooted. I've just closed down uh, Steam VR via this menu. Quit, which I'm not going to do again. Um, and when I've turned it on again, it's brought up the pairing menu. So this thing. So I basically just turned all the devices on and it's recognised them. So uh, this may be something you need to do. I'm going to update this firmware now to make sure everything's up to date, and I'm going to try it again. When I say update firmware, I should just point out that that is on your Steam VR menu, uh, and it's basically update firmware. Okay, up to date, up to date, up to date, up to date. Okay, so it's not. Uh, I've still got this issue down here. Of course, it's just hidden down a little slidey bar. Okay, so I'll just update this now and get back to you. Okay, so I am just going to pop over in a minute. The tracker is there uh, on the chair. So I'm going to run this and I think what it will do is bring up a menu, which I don't know whether you're going to get this, but it asks, it says Unity Legacy Settings, do you want to choose a controller? And it's an in-headset menu, so you can't see it when I'm running the project, but um, you choose the, uh, the Vive controllers. So I'm going to run it and see whether I get that menu. I think I probably will. So I'm going to run it and I'll pop over there. Okay, we're off. So I can see the controller, which is a good sign. So I'll just pop over. Okay, yeah. So it's giving me a menu that basically says uh, that basically says it's, it's actually the wrong controller. Change bindings for Unity.exe. So the options you've got are current binding and current controller. So I'm just going to choose the Vive controller. I don't know why it's giving me this. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the app. So now I'm back in the app. So I can see my two controllers. Uh, and I've also got the tracker is now represented by this cube. The exciting thing is, of course, that I can't see my hands, which is the most confusing part of VR. But we'll look into ways of dealing with that later. But um, yeah, okay, so that's kind of successful. So we'll look at actually creating similarly shaped objects in reality to further immerse you. Now, where's that chair gone? Okay, happy days. Here we go.